ve'ela ha'mishpatim asher tasim lefneihem. These are the laws that I have put before you. Why is it that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us so many details? Why is it that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us so many halachas, so many restrictions in our life? And so many of us feel weighed down by our Yiddishkeit. There's so many fine practices and it has to be done exactly just so. If we had the Torah, wouldn't we have to do many of these things anyway? For example, when the Torah comes and says, don't kill, I could know that even without the Torah. Obviously, it's immoral for a person to come along and say, I'm going to kill somebody who doesn't deserve to be killed. What's the value in HaKadosh Baruch Hu telling us, don't kill? Why did HaKadosh Baruch Hu need to give us all of these statutes? Perhaps the answer is, because religion is really just a relationship. In a relationship, when one person tells the other what's important to them, the act goes from being mundane to being something that really builds the relationship. So if my wife doesn't say to me that she wants a special dinner, and I go ahead and make one anyway, that's amazing. I've contributed my individuality to the relationship. But if my wife calls me up and she says, it's been such a hard day for me, if you wouldn't mind making dinner, I would really appreciate it. And if I go all out and make a beautiful dinner, I've done much more than bring my individual self to the relationship. I've done what she wants me to do. And in doing what she wants me to do, I've enhanced the relationship. Because I'm not saying it's about me, I'm saying it's about us. And that is an incredibly empowering thing in a relationship. Would we have killed without the Torah? Of course not. But when HaKadosh Baruch Hu comes to us and says, don't kill, all of a sudden the act has gone from being a mundane act to being something supernatural. It helps us building our relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Why does HaKadosh Baruch Hu want us to do these things? Well, for some, the answers are obvious, and for others, the answers are less obvious. Don't kill? I think we all understand that one. Why keep kosher? Well, the question is, how important is it really to understand why we keep kosher? Of course, if we're trying to understand what HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants from us, it's important to understand his reasoning. But if HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells us, keep kosher, our response is, of course. I may not understand why HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants me to do this, but if He wants me to do it, if it's important to Him, then it's important to me. Because that's the thesis of a great relationship. If it's important to you, it's important to me. Often, when we're in a relationship, what's important to our spouse is not actually important to us. And we'll go through the motions of doing it. And that's great. That's phenomenal. Because you've done what your spouse has asked you to do. But the highest level relationship is when your spouse comes to you and says, would you help me out? And you do it from an authentic place of self. You say, of course I'll do it, because you're the most important person in the world to me. Now you have a great relationship. Now you have something special to build. These mishpatim, these rules were given to us not to restrict us, not to weigh us down, but to enhance our relationship with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to allow us to draw close to Him, despite the fact that less machshava tvisa beklal, that nobody could possibly understand God, when God tells us what He wants, we're able to be tofes in the Ratzon Hashem.